<laughs> Today, we're taking a look at the Divum Pixu 64. And this thing is awesome. So if you don't know, the Pixu is actually a pixel display. This one is framed. If you remember, I also reviewed the 32, but they're really different. First of all, this really has the framed picture, moving picture aspect to it. The Divum Pixu 32, is it the 32? Sorry, it's the Pixu Max. So the Divum Pixu Max is borderless. Also, it rocks a battery so it can work without having it uh, plugged in, as you can see. Whereas the Pixu 64 is rocking that framed look or maybe interior design. I love it. First of all, the size difference is <laughs> clear, okay? And also 64 means it's 64 by 64, giving you a whole lot more pixels. Now the graphics can be super realistic. Also, there are some like changes when it comes to the software or, or at least how the software reacts to this one. But let's go step by step. First of all, when you open the box, what do you see? You're gonna see the Pixu 64 and it also comes with a USB cable. It will come with that little leg or that little thing, that the little stand, I should call it, not a leg. And it will come with uh, two screws that will allow you to uh, attach it pretty much anywhere you want i believe those are quarter inch threads so you can probably put them on a tripod you know what while i'm here i have this thing and i'm gonna test it we're gonna see if it's actually a quarter inch to the thread so it has two at the bottom and one up top uh, it's not exactly a quarter inch thread but it is close enough this is a time lapse rig for a gopro anyways the design at the back is amazing it has all those lines and uh there's a couple of um protective plastic this mine also still has the protective plastic because i'm kind of scared of taking it off the build still seems solid but uh it's i believe it's slightly more heavy than this one and i don't believe this one has a battery on this side you will see the button for the power and then uh, to change the graphics if you want to and uh, this is the part that i really love about this one it has an integrated mic right so if i so if you put it somewhere where music is playing it will give you an audio visualizer that works perfectly at first i thought it was synced to my phone and using my phone's microphone but no it is using its own microphone and it works really well you can see the low frequencies if i go ah you can see the mid frequencies and if i go so if you have some you can see the low frequencies are over there. <laughs> All right, so the stand is pretty intuitive. You just uh, put it in like that. And um, and this time it's in the middle. I'm not gonna lie, the Pixu Max stand actually broke. It's at the back here. It broke and I never replaced it. I just use an iPad stand to, to make it stand up now. So I love what they did with it. I don't like the fact that it's still plastic. I feel like that could still break if I knock it over or if I push or, or if anything happens but it seems way more solid than the previous one. So when you first plug it in, the first thing it's gonna ask you from the app is if you wanna connect via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. This is great if you don't have internet wherever you are, or if you prefer to be present with your phone with Bluetooth in order to connect to it. So it gives you more options, which is always good. And when I first plugged in mine, it actually froze for a little bit and I, I got scared. I thought, oh, well, there's an issue, but there's no issues with it. Turns out I plugged it into a bad uh, plug. Basically, I had a plug that wasn't giving enough power. So make sure that you have a solid plug if you're gonna put it in like some old USB thing. It doesn't work that well if it's an old like phone charger. And I guess I would have loved for uh, Divoom to provide a, an adapter with it, but we can ask too much. If you plug it into your computer, it will work fine. Here's another thing that I realized is that um, once you have it turned on and connected to your phone, the app now supports way more stuff than before when it comes to integration that is right on the, the cover on the box you can see that it it's telling you like the the price of bitcoin in real time and then it's telling you you know how many days before christmas and stuff like that and the best of the best news is that when i reviewed the divoom d2 which is their little computer uh looking bluetooth speaker you guys my followers you guys asked hey can this be compatible with twitch maybe display the amount of followers or something like that so i immediately sent them an email and i was like hey you know what my viewers are twitch streamers and they would love if there was some sort of twitch integration and apparently now you can, you totally can. You just have to um, play with the app a little bit in order to get the integration going and boom. Now, when you have an update, it will tell you 
on the app if you want to update you can still use it without the update but it's better if you update it and it actually happens like super fast as you can see it gives you the percentage of it being updated which is great like in real time no no worries at all here if you don't know about divum products the most important thing you need to know is that this is very very much community based um oh <laughs> i guess that's the noise it makes when it's done when it's done updating oh and then we have the divum you can change that. You can actually change the start animation, which is so cool. So when I said it's community based is that anyone who creates an animation can upload it to the cloud and then you can use it. You can also search for specific animations. Let's say that you're a big fan of Sonic, right? If I go here and I type Sonic, there's a bajillion, a bajillion ones. And I'm just going to tap it. And boom, I get a Sonic animation. And another one. <laughs> there you go. So, of course, by tapping that plus button in the middle, you can tap and then immediately start drawing. Okay. <laughs> and obviously, you can also create animations. You can put some text. You can um, upload an image, I believe. You can click on plus and pick the camera. And you can select the picture that you have. I'm going to select this picture and see how it turns out. Hopefully it lets me crop it. Yes, it allows me to crop it. And I'm gonna click OK. And would you look at that? It created an artwork. And you can do animations with the app. So it's amazing. This is so cool. Look at that. <laughs> this is great. And I can, of course, type on top of it and, and then ruin it. Of course. Of course I can. <laughs> Now let's look for the integrations. Talking about community, they are always running some sort of contest that you can win. If you participate, you create your own animations and stuff like that. You can you can win a bunch of cool prizes, including stuff like the Pixel. When it comes to utility, there's a lot of things that you can do, like design is what I showed you. Animation is you if you want to make it animated. Pixel coloring is kind of like a game where you're just coloring with pixels. You can use it as a planner and alarm. You can mark celebrations. You can put a countdown. Of course, you can do like the, um, the audio visualizer and then on more you have even more stuff that you can do you can play music you can have a stopwatch countdown noise meter you can chat with other people that have divum products uh, i also demonstrated that in my old you should definitely watch the review of my other divum stuff so right now you may not be able to display alerts when you get like a new follower subscriber or widgets and stuff like that but what they have is clocks, basically. You have specific clocks. You can have like a YouTube clock. You can have a Twitter clock. I should probably just show you what it looks like. So this is what it would look like, basically. And uh, you can actually log into your own account. It took me a while to actually find it. So I had to go at the bottom here. I had to go to channel and then all the way to the top, scroll to clock. And here I picked one that has both, uh, t like that has Twitter, YouTube, Twitch. I can deactivate, for example, the bottom is like the Divum. I'm going to deactivate that. If you want, you can just pick uh, a Twitch one that should update. There you go. So here it's telling me to please log in and I will have my follower count and my subscriber count too. Apparently, I don't know if you can see this, but when it comes to like social ones up, oh, there you go. When it comes to social ones, you have a ton of options. So it's not just Twitch. It's also Douyin. Um, I don't see it. I don't see a TikTok. But the software is always evolving, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if they add that. They obviously have a bunch of other designs for the clocks, but financial is where it's at. So we have uh, Bitcoin here. We have the USA stock. You can add. I'm guessing you can probably customize and add your own stock. And then even better, you have video game stats. You have League of Legends. There's uh, Apex. There's Overwatch. There's uh, Fortnite. And that seems to be it for now. So. Integration wise, there's so much. There's really, really so, so much. The fact that it is connected, especially Wi Fi, you know, it's not just Bluetooth now, it's Wi Fi. It actually has access to the internet and, and can update stats in real time. Now, I don't think the clocks are open to the community yet, but imagine, imagine if they gave access to this, to the integrations, to the community, the amazing stuff that we can come up with. We could probably finally have actual alerts and stuff like that. But overall, there are so many options with this little thing in the app that you're going to spend a lot of time even trying to figure out all the things that you can do with it. I'm definitely adding this to my background somewhere, maybe over there. The only problem is that since it doesn't seem to have a battery, because this is what happens when I, you know, when I pull the cable out or even when I try to turn it off. Oops. I, I did it. I turned it off by <laughs> pressing once. I'm going to turn it back on by holding. But if I just yank the cable while it's on, it turns off. 
it doesn't seem to turn back on so i'm i'm gonna guess that it doesn't have a battery but hey cool thing is that with one nail in the wall you can actually get this like a picture frame but it needs to be plugged in one thing that i seem to have missed is that it actually comes with an like a micro sd card near the usb port so it can probably save your settings i'm guessing that's what it's for i know that dvoom asked me to ask them a bunch of questions but i like when products are intuitive i don't like for for the companies to tell me everything about it while i'm holding it i just love to see what i can figure out on my own because that's probably what's going to happen with most people they're not going to be calling the company and ask a bunch of questions in conclusion i love this thing but it is currently not completely available i will leave a link to the kickstarter because it's on kickstarter right now and uh the early bird the kickstarter backers are going to be able to have it for about a hundred bucks which is so cheap when you think about it when you think about all the things that it can do but yeah i would like to give a big shout out to divum for trusting me and sending this to me uh for a review I'm not being paid to say anything good about it. I'm not being paid at all, actually. I was just sent it to give my honest opinion and I love those things though. I, I want all of them. I want all of them everywhere. I want a wall. Okay, next, next product, Devoom. If you're watching this, well, you're totally watching this. Uh, a shower curtain that is all LEDs. <laughs> it i would use it anyways i will also leave a link to the other the previous reviews in the description so check out all the links in the description and um thank you for watching i will see you guys next time go out there make me proud get level out